husband and wife charged tonight after police say their child handed out meth at school, leading to hospitalization. CBS 4's Jenny Dreisler has the message from the district and from the community. I mean, it just shouldn't happen. We got great schools here, and I can't imagine it even happened in our school. Not normal. Um, not really expected in this community. Shock. Pure shock. It's not something you hear too often in Westfield. Two parents, Brooke and Freddie Garcia, facing a slew of drug related charges after drugs taken from their home landed two teens in the hospital. A crime people we spoke to in Westfield Wednesday say isn't welcome in their community. It's just not a cool thing. The parents <clears throat> should know better even do it. They're in the wrong town if they want to do stuff like that. According to court documents, police were called to Westfield Middle School last week after two 13 year old students were found sweating profusely with elevated heart rates and extremely dilated pupils. One of the teens said they had swallowed meth they got from one of the Garcia's children. Court docs say the child found the meth in their parents' bedroom. Police searched the Garcia's home on Union Street and found meth under a mattress and in a closet, fentanyl and other drug paraphernalia. A police report says the home was infested with bugs and smelled of urine and feces. Court docs show after the discovery, police removed six kids ages 3 to 17 from the home. The Westfield Washington School District tight-lipped tonight as far as how the drugs got on to school property. A spokesperson with the Westfield Washington School District would not comment on the case, saying the district does not comment on student health related issues. I think we need a lot of help. We need a lot of help, a lot more education. Um, the kids, I just feel bad. I hope that they get the guidance that they need and the treatment that they need. If there are kids in school that are on drugs and, and selling drugs or passing drugs out, they need help. They need help. In Westfield, Jenny Dreisler, CBS 4 News. We did speak with the Hamilton County Prosecutor's Office today about this case. It said in a statement, quote, the Hamilton County Prosecutor's Office and Hamilton County law enforcement community as a whole take child safety very seriously. Parents, do not expose your children to dangerous drugs and substances. If you do and they are found with them, we will investigate and prosecute you to the extent of the law. Tonight, CBS